<coughs> okay, so there's a mild break in the weather now. It's only drizzling instead of raining. So I'll take the opportunity now. I think we're about 20 minutes away from the next point, which is the the signal in Dramod. This one is to do with the Cavan Leitrim line, which was a narrow gauge line. And it was the last operating steam engine narrow gauge line in Ireland. And it only closed in the 1950s. And it was associated with uh, coal mining in the Erigna region. So it was hauling coal from, um, from the Erigna mines. But the uh, cool thing about this is there's a ah uh, here have I missed a turn balls I have not have I brought me up there okay fine oh, where was I uh, I can't remember oh yeah the cool thing about this one is there's a, a railway heritage um, charity society type thing in Dremode and they're um, they're working on restoring and trying to foot raise funds for restoring and preserving sections of the narrow gauge line and currently they're trying to uh, try to raise funds for to finish restoring a steam engine uh, 060 type which was a particular type of steam engine that ran on this line um, it's currently they bought it and they've sent it away to Wales to get it reconditioned and rebuilt and that and they're hoping to have it pressure tested for steam pressure either recently or soon and they're looking for to try and get it back and to run it on the line in Dremode which is kind of cool now my throat is killing me my nose is starting to block my visor is fogging and I'm rapidly losing interest in this so I'm just going to switch off now I don't know what I'm going to do with this day, the way it's going, I think we could be looking at just going to the points, videoing them and splicing them all together, as many as we can get done today in into one video with no vlogging content really because I just, I've, I don't feel great today, moan, 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 <coughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> we are now in the village of Drummond. just coming close to the signal or no we're not are we the hell well, we're going right here so we are ah oh, there he is
Uh, I don't know, I really wanted that to move. <laughs> I'm not half as impressed now. <laughs> okay. Totally different day up here, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Just coming out of Leitrim Village now. And it is a totally different day up here. The early bit of the journey going to Drummond and Maidu. Um, just really miserable weather. And it just kind of pissed me off. Put me in bad form for a bit. The finer weather up here is cheering me up a little. Um, I don't know, I haven't really put in much of an effort to the last two points there in terms of vlogging. So I'm going to try and rally now for this one and try and make it a bit better. Um, this one we're going to is, and the first problem I have straight away is I can't pronounce it. Crevali, Crevali, Crevala, who knows. Um, it's a furnace. It's an Ireland butt rally point I think, it must be if it's a furnace and 1661, no, there's been a furnace on this site I think, I think, since 1661 in one form or another. <sighs> I think we were on this road, this is the road where all the bikers passed us, yeah. Anyway, this uh, furnace, now this site has been a furnace on it since 1661 in one form or another and it's gone through various types of furnace in terms of fueling. It was for a period a coke fueled furnace, wood fueled furnace, a turf fueled furnace, I think in 1851. Lord Mount Rath or whatever his name was built a coke fueled furnace to benefit from the, the newly discovered um, coal mines that were found in, in the area um, so it's if you look back at the other videos that I've done where I talked about the blast furnace in Woodford and the iron bar in in that one, the iron bar is all that's left of that furnace. Uh, and what actually killed this furnace in Crevillet, or whatever the way you pronounce it is, uh, what actually killed it was the lack of fuel. Because much like it happened in Woodford, they basically deforested the area for fuel for the furnaces, but they didn't replant or they didn't manage the resources, which resulted in a furnace with no ready supply of fuel surrounding it. Uh, that's what basically happened to this furnace. So it eventually went out of use. 1860s, 1870s, something like that. There's one of the furnaces is still standing. And it's in, apparently in very good condition. So we're going to have a look at that and... See how we get on. Look at this. Just leave gravel everywhere like this. Lads, I can't get over the difference in the day like. The lashing rain down around Ballymahan and Drummond and Moida. Sun is blatant the stones up here. But oh, the church is there. That's the church there. Yeah, fuck it. Go on, sure. The worst will be is wrong. Uh, 
And I said it last year when I went to the River Suck, in uh, the bridge over the River Suck, in the, that photo rally. What kind of a demented fella heads up this road just to see what's there? Like, how did the Iron Butt Association find out about these places? There it is. Structure, yeah. You can do a lap of it. Get the full extent of it. And tucked away in the middle of nowhere. That is class, isn't it? And you see that have it up against the the high side of the hill there. So they'll be drawing the whatever fuel it was and the iron ore. Piling a heap of fuel into the funnel at the top, a layer of iron ore, more fuel, more iron ore, more fuel, more iron ore, and then set it alight, and it burns off all the the impurities and leaves you with with um, castable pig iron, like. So you'd they'd have some way of drawing it across here, fired in the top. And that's, that's after coming down from above, I'd say. That big stone there is after coming down from above. See the, the capping going around the outside. Is that a staircase? There's a staircase going up. Do it hurley now. Or is it? I don't see where you'd... <laughs> They're coming down, it was held together by a copper band. Yeah. Oh, you see it over. Collapsing. Isn't it? Yeah. That is something else. And I see it all gets funneled, this was burning and melting funnel down in here. Yeah. And they had but this could this is probably a a great system. Mm. You know, bears across it. And the fire lit from underneath it then. And yeah, it does the sun ever reach a point where it shines directly down at any time? You know what I mean? Yeah. That would be a, that would be a class picture, yeah. yeah. Yeah, But you'd have to work that out with the celestial pickets. No, you just have to sit here all day every day for 365 <laughs> days. No, no, no. I do it with celestial um, software. <laughs> Once you get the coordinates of that point there, you can see does the sun actually go either across that pass or close to it. That is very class and also very unnerving. Yeah, and they're all ready to. Uh, yeah, yeah, you see that one there is just getting ready to held the by the corner. And you know, I don't even trust my luck to stand. Oh, I'm just going to say, and there's, there's a pair of us in it now. <laughs> yeah. I know when my luck is out. So that was the... Cray Le Vie, Cray Le Vie, whatever it is. That was the blast furnace in Leitrim.
and it was a very impressive structure I have to say very great shame you can see some of the damage coming to it now that there's no um, no preservation on it like it's just such a cool structure in the middle of nowhere so impressive to see it like to be able to climb inside it and look up and see the inside of the cone of a blast furnace it's pure class like uh, what? and I just passed the sign for Sligo no?